Gekka, an artist, author, nurse and midwife, believed for years she was unworthy of happiness. Realizing she is the creator of her own reality, she then created Smiler, a magical instrument of joy. Now Gekka is committed to encouraging others and tap into their own power to change their lives. In her inspirational presentation, she shares three lessons from the Smiler philosophy she used to create Heaven on Earth. Create true happiness with Smiler, a magical tool which turns on your spiritual power with Gekka. I was born with big dreams. Being a nurse, getting a husband, a house, kids, and a car, of course. <laughs> well, I had it all done at 23. Later, I also became a midwife and got a BA degree as an artist. But all that did not make me happy. I felt myself never, ever good enough. There I was standing, a grown-up superwoman in my perfect house, in my bedroom, looking out of the window up to the sky and asking why this pain. My heart was crying and my soul was screaming out. I was so unhappy and felt so lonely and I saw no way out. Is this what life is all about? My guilt over being so unthankful for all that perfect life I had was killing me. When I was 42, I lost my patience. I found my prayers not answered quickly enough and I decided to do something about it myself. <laughs> Is happiness just for lucky people? Or can it be a decision? That idea gave me a lot more power over my life. As Jim Ron's quote says, if you don't like where you are, change it. You are not a tree. I made some changes. I said goodbye to my old dream, my man for 22 years, and my beautiful house. <laughs> I kept all the car and the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I like to three, share three lessons I learned that helped me end my suffering and follow my dreams. I began my spiritual journey, which led me to the amazing books Conversation with God, written by Neil Donald Walsh. And for the first time, I saw myself as an interesting part of God, or whatever we call the powerful creativity of life. I ended up in a workshop in England with Neil, and I arrived the same day the financial crash hit Iceland. And I was shocked, because that day, the Icelandic krona had melted into almost nothing. To my surprise, I was told that I shouldn't pay a penny. I got a week workshop for free, all because Iceland was in the spotlight. <laughs> and people felt really sorry for poor me. From Neil, I heard the quote attributed to the Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh. If you smile five times a day for no reason, you can change your life in 90 days. Whoa! That means that when something bad is happening, you can change everything. Try smiling when life is horrible. For example, you crash your car, your spouse leaves you, or you can't get your jeans on. <laughs> Try that. 
I knew I would need some magical tool to help in difficult moments. So I created Smiler. His role was to turn on my happiness and remind me that I'm a powerful creator with my thoughts, words and actions. The form is similar to a dog bone. Dogs are fantastic teachers in joy. Nobody is so perfect. <laughs> when I'm in a really bad mood, it's life-saving, especially for others, that I do this. <laughs> Study shows that even when we fake a smile, our brains are stimulated and we release happy hormones that give us better health. It's though better if the smile can reach up to the wrinkles around your eyes. Then it sends a message to the forebrain which thinks, great, Gekka is in good mood now. <laughs> and the brain sends order to my face to smile even more and more and more. And I could end up laughing, wetting my pants. The smile also stimulates our immune system and shuts down our stress mechanism. In that way, it heals our bodies and protects against all kinds of diseases. It can even do a better job than pills. Pat Adams <laughs> is a doctor who is well known for using humor and love as the only medicine. He found my smile are not very special compared to the one he has forced into his mouth here. <laughs> the positive chemical reactions take place both in those who smile and those who receive the smile. Your smile is therefore the most effective gift you can give others. I often wonder, who am I? I am means God in Hebrew language. Religions argue about many things, but they all agree about one thing, that God is a creator. I made this sculpture, a woman womb, to express that we are all one, coming from the same source, no matter our outlook. We all have the same needs. Who in this room feels great to be loved and respected. Please raise your hands. Who wants success and safety in life? Who loves to be beaten? No, no. <laughs> I'm not talking about the 50 shades BDSM here. <laughs> I mean really beaten. I guess nobody likes that. Did you know that when we smile and hug, we produce a wonderful oxytocin hormone that builds up trust and bonding between you and others. It's the same hormone that squeezes the child out of the womb into the world. Love to tell you that when you're having orgasm, you also produce that wonderful hormone. No wonder it's so easy to forget all arguments after having good sex. <laughs> Studies also tell us that when the, this hormone oxytocin is in high level in men's blood, they are less like, likely to have affairs. Good news for our women, it's available in bottles. <laughs> and science says us, it's very interesting, that science says that my body and yours and everything in the world is emptiness. And guess what the only matter, the small particles in all atoms are made of? Mostly of light. In the Bible it says, let there be light, and there was light. We are powerful creators made of love. So for God's sake, turn on your light and shine even though you fall. 
There is a gift in every crash. Nothing happens accidentally. I found out on my own skin how humor and gratefulness are such strong healing forces. In 1998, I was riding my friend's bike when my high heel slipped of the pedal and suddenly I faced lovely concrete steps. The second before my beautiful face hit the bottom, I was not smiling. <laughs> Would I live or die? The blood you can see here in the right corner is O plus and it's mine. I looked monstrous. My cheekbone was broken, also a tooth. But I'm an artist and I admire the color and the form my face had. <laughs> And I felt so grateful and lucky that my hat was still on my shoulders. <laughs> I was really laughing at my face. And I was optimistic and I decided to go just one week later to a reunion <laughs> to meet old schoolmates. I was going to dance there like a maniac because I was not paralyzed. <laughs> lucky me. Gratitude is the key. Serotonin is one of the hormones who is produced by smiles. I call it I wanna live hormone because it heals depression. Among other things, it also produces proteins that heats the skin extraordinarily fast, knowing that I was in hurry. Who would believe it? I can see with my both eyes and I have no scars. Often things that seem bad at the time turns out to be great gifts. I have to tell you, I've been working alone for years and I really had been asking God for a partner. Andrea Pennington was among audience in one of my lectures. She's a doctor and a well-known speaker with interested in holistic healing of the body, mind and spirit. She's also a master in marketing people globally. Andrea found my story, or shall I say my face, <laughs> so interesting that she is now helping to promote the smiler around the world and his philosophy. Next photos are taken of girls in India who had much more serious shock than I had. If your face was splashed with acid and your skin could not get back to normal, would you smile? I was introduced to a courageous woman who could do that. Your power and your glory is in your smile. It's the best beauty makeup ever. Rupa and Sapna are true smilers. Rupa is now a fashion designer and Sapna is the greatest dancer I've ever met. Can we really change the world with our attitude? Yes, we can. Lakshmi is changing the world by stopping acid attacks in India. She went from being an unknown victim, an outcasted young girl in Delhi, to be a champion. And she was awarded by Michelle Obama with the International Woman of Courage Award 2014. What a role model. I decided to choose Smiler of every month because Smiler likes to recognize people who teach us what it really means to be powerful by changing problems into gifts and follow their dreams with love, joy and courage. Thankfully, the world is full of teachers. Brynja Karl was recognized smiler of Mars 2014. He was just 10 years old when he decided to follow his dream and build the ship Titanic over six meters long from 56,000 small leco bricks. 
And he did it. Even though he has autism, nothing can stop this brave boy. He's really a captain on his ship. Inkolver was recognized Smiler of February 2014 for publishing the book A Journey to Freedom. As a boy, he was sexually abused, but now he has turned his painful experience into gifts for others. And of course, for himself, you get what you give. In conclusion, all those people are following their dreams, which is, by the way, crucial for your health and happiness. I'd like to remind you of the three lessons. They are, there's a gift in every crash, you're a powerful creator, and dreams come true. Now I really hope you are aware of the impact you have on others and the world. There's always someone who sees you as a role model, whether you like it or not. Why are you here? What is your precious gift to the world? Remember, you are a powerful creator. A smiler within, who can change the world, your world. Some of you here in this room will find a smiler under your seat. Sorry, some are just luckier than others. <laughs> Those who didn't can visit my website if you like and buy smiler there if you like and also my book. And you can also nominate a person or an organization as a smiler of the month. And always a profit or proceeds of smiler income goes to charity. Before I say goodbye, I would really like to hug you all. <laughs> but that's not impossible, you're so many. So could you please stand up and give yourself a hug? And smile, of course. <laughs> and what about some happy music now? It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here. You can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way.